Welcome back. Today's American Made Company is uh, cleaning up literally. Craig Donaldson is the CEO uh, of Molly Made. I'm looking at just what a great story. Um, the, the way it was started, uh, I think a classic uh, entrepreneurial start. Uh, you got 450 franchises. Basically, um, the, the people learn how to recruit people that go and clean people's houses, residential cleaning. Uh, but that's basically it, right? There? Yes. And after, yes, uh, that's right. And it was started. Um, in 1984, what happened in 1996? The franchise, or the, oh, the foundation was started in 96. That was the point I was going to make. You start this company, you, you build it, and then you start a philanthropic organization which, which works with domestic violence. This is exactly the way that things are supposed to work. Yes, that's right, Joe. Um, Molly Maid was started in 1984, and as you mentioned, has 450 franchisees throughout the country that delight customers by coming into their homes and cleaning their homes and giving them that pride of ownership, helping them to feel great about their homes. And because of that uh, orientation, most of our uh, home service professionals are women. We've took a special interest in uh, domestic violence and have contributed over a million dollars to a hundred different domestic abuse shelters throughout the country. And how many employees, do, do, with all, if you count all the 450 franchises, and you're not just in the United States either, but how many employees in the United States? In the United States, it's uh, roughly uh, 6,000, maybe pushing to 7,000. The, um, the idea that boom and bust times would affect people's ability to, um, to not clean their own houses. I mean, do you, in, in 2008, was business bad? Did people cut back? Well, you know, we actually had growth in 08, but we did decline in 2009. Since then, we've hit double-digit growth throughout the system with 90% of our franchise locations growing. So we're not up to the high teens we were at before the recession, but we've certainly had a solid rebound. Would you call yourself a, a small business or, or would, would, would this be media? I guess this is like a large small business is what we'd be talking about. And what I'm getting at is I'm, I'm wondering whether, you know, whether you're looking around and saying there are things in regulations and Obamacare, there are things that are making it difficult for us to, to operate now. Would you, is that a fair statement or not? Well, let, let me first mention as a franchisor, I would still call us a relatively small business. But certainly our franchisees, the independently owned and operated franchises throughout the country, they are definitely small business owners. And the uh, growth we've had comes from their entrepreneurship, from their drive, from their desire to grow. And we have seen recently some incentives that are starting to give incentives away from that. So, for example, with... Uh, uh, the new health care law, I've heard more than one franchisee worried about hitting the 50 employee level because things become so onerous and difficult. So some of them, I think I heard it three times in the past two weeks, they said, hey, I'm at 40 employees and I'm, I'm not going to push back past that 50 mark. All right, so what that, a shame at a time when the country needs jobs. Right. So that's what I, I wonder, are, are, do they operate as sub duress? I mean, with, with, are they affected by a... Uh, are they the, these people that supposedly uh, make over 250000 but there's no real small businesses that make that much? Would they be affected by, by not extending those tax cuts? Yeah, I think a, a large percentage of them would be. I think about 30% of our franchisees are doing revenue north of a million dollars. And so because of that, if you take you know, some reasonable profit percentage, it would affect many of them, I'm, I'm sure of it. All right. Well... Um, we don't. Uh, we're out of time. We like doing this American-made stuff. Don't you like hearing? The I love great, like great American stories. 450 franchises, 7,000 employees. People talk about small businesses. Right. This is the future. No. This is and, it. And then you start up. You know. Then you give money away once you're right. successful enough to do it. Anyway, Craig, thank you. Appreciate your time. We saw that with. Thank Tom. you very much. You're welcome. We saw.